The judicial system in Saudi Arabia is independent and it is uh, fair and it is transparent and the decisions about uh, proceeding or not proceeding are internal Saudi matters. We have tremendous respect for the judicial system of other countries and we expect other countries to respect our judiciary. Because the British government the case has been lobbying you, hasn't it, not to do it? Irrespective of what people think, this is the Saudi judicial system. We do not interfere in Britain's judicial system with all due respect or anyone else's judicial system. And so we will do whatever we need to do in, in line with our judicial system. Now the case you talked about is, is still under review and we will have to see what the final decisions are. You must realize you, you do have a terrible image problem at the moment. Are you going to do something about that? I mean, you don't have to execute I think as many people as you do. Well, on this issue, we have a fundamental difference. In your country, you do not execute people. We respect it. In our country, the death penalty is a part of our laws, and you have to respect this, as it is the law, part of the law in the United States and other countries. The, uh, with regards to the perception of Saudi Arabia among the British public, this is a problem that we need to work on. We have not been good at explaining ourselves. We have not done a good job at reaching out to the British media or to the British public we have not, or to the uh, British institutions, academic institutions, think tanks and so forth. We may be, maybe not have been as communicative as we should be. What about the facts of your campaign in Yemen? Your government has said it would carry out an investigation into alleged breaches of international humanitarian law, specifically the killing of civilians. Have you carried out that investigation and can you tell, you, tell us what you've concluded? We are looking at, uh, at all of these issues carefully and we're looking at the record. I want to say something and I don't want this to sound defensive, but a lot of the charges that are leveled against Saudi Arabia by NGOs or by third party observers or based on Twitter uh, <coughs> reports tend to be baseless. Um, the Iranian government itself uh, alleged that we bombed their embassy in Sana'a and it turns out to be false. But are you saying you haven't killed we, civilians from the air? Look, the Houthis have been bombing a lot of people from the ground indiscriminately. The Houthis have been using uh, uh, child soldiers and I don't hear you complaining about this or any of your colleagues. We have no interest in, in trying to harm civilians and if, if there's any collateral damage that happens we will deal with it. Uh, but the idea, the notion, the notion that we are bombing civilians indiscriminately is A, uh, not borne by the facts, and B, not fair. Finally, is the British government warning you that it may stop supplying weapons? Is it sufficiently worried that that might actually happen because of these reports of civilian casualties? The, uh, if, there are mis if a mistake is made, we, if, an accident, if an incident happened, we investigate it. If it turns out that it was a mistake, we will acknowledge it and we will, and we will and find the ways to reduce it. Everybody seems satisfied with that explanation. Everybody is satisfied with that explanation because the, the every, in all wars you have collateral damage.